guys, in this video we're going to be making some cupcakes of Sean the Sheep and some of his friends in the flock. This video has been made in collaboration with Aardman Animations and Renshaw to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Aardman. So I've got some purple domes, foam domes, I'll put links in the description box below to everything that I'm using as well. And I've got some white fondant that we're going to roll out nice and thin. I don't need quite as much so I'll just take a little bit of that off which I'm going to use now to roll into small balls. So I've just rolled a range of balls, don't worry about them all being the same size and we're going to push them onto the fondant, leave a little bit of spacing in between, I'm just going to make sure they fit within my little circle cutter that we'll be using and I'm now going to turn it over, make sure that you've not got a work surface that's going to stick to. If you need to, dust your work surface with icing sugar or corn flour and now that I've turned it upside down I'm just pressing with a little brush that I've got just to give it a bit of texture and it's kind of pushed the fondant around the sides of all those balls that we've got at the back so it looks a little bit more like the texture of a sheep. So then I've used my cutter to cut out around that and then we're going to place that onto our foam ball to dry. Now I've done a few already so can you see each one looks a little bit different and it's literally just by changing the size of the balls that were at the back that we rolled out a minute ago that changes what they look like. So you can have smaller ones, larger ones. I've tried to do it so I've got a bit of a range. And then we're going to use some black fondant next. Just taking a small piece, we're going to start creating the head. So start with a ball, then make it a little bit more oval and then slightly more teardrop shaped. So it's a bit narrower at the top. And I'm just using my paintbrush handle to poke in two little nostrils for his nose and then a small sausage shape bent in half and just stuck near the back of the head, which will be his mouth that's just coming out to the side. And I've just got a ball in tool to just push in the eyes there. So once you've got the eye sockets in, we'll work on the ears. So I'm going to roll two teardrop shapes for his ears and we're just going to use the balling tool again to press into the center to give them a little bit more shape. And I'll just make that one a tiny bit smaller. And don't worry too much about sticking them on just yet. We're going to stick the head onto the circle of white that we created earlier. Then when that's in place, you can then put the ears on, resting them directly on the body. And then I've just got two small balls of white fondant for his eyes and then two tiny balls of black which are just going to go in the centre of each of his eyes and I'm just going to use a cocktail stick to sort of push a tiny little hole in the centre of each of those like that. So I've just dyed a small amount of my white fondant in a light purple for the eyelids but you can buy the fondant ready dyed as well and I've just cut two tiny little sort of semicircles they're quite small and just placed them at the top of each of his eyeballs and then we're going to give him a little bit of hair on the top of his head, almost like a little cloud shape. So start with an oval and we'll put dints in around the edge with the cocktail stick. I've just used water for sticking the head on, so just going to use the same for the bit of hair on the top of his head. Now you can leave him like this or you can give him feet. So I'm going to give him some legs. So I've started with a little sort of sausage shaped piece and when you roll it, try and leave a little bit at the end that's going to stay thicker that will become the foot. And then in the foot, we can just put a tiny little dint with the knife to create his little toes and just make another one exactly the same and we'll just push those in place. So that's Sean the Sheep done. So for my next one I'm going to create Shirley and I'm going to use the same method as I did before. Now I've already done the, the body ready and the head we're making in the same way. I've, I've made it slightly larger than I did for Sean. Put the nostrils in in exactly the same way. And this time I've got two little balls of black that are going to become the cheeks. And I'm going to squash them down at one side. So they've got a flat edge that I can push against the side of the face. I'm just using a cocktail stick to try and blend those in a little bit, making sure that they're pushed on nice and tight to the side of the face. I've just poked in some little holes with a paintbrush handle for where I'm going to attach the ears on this one. I push it in place on the body again. And using my ball in tool will create two eye sockets. And I'm just going to put a little line under each of our eyes. And the ears, we're going to do the same as before, but I've kept them a little bit shorter and fatter than what I did with Sean's. And I'm just pushing them into the little holes that I'd created on the side of the head. Now just a tiny bit of water in each eye socket. And again, we'll add two small balls of white fondant in for the eyes. The eyelids, we're doing the same as before with a pale purple. So it's a little circle that we've just squashed down nice and flat and then cut it in half. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. This one's more of an oval shape that I've done. The trickiest bit is picking them up. So you can use a, a damp paintbrush to pick them up and put them in place. And then the same as we did on Sean, 
you're going to put the black centers in the eyes as well so i'm only putting the eyelids on the one eye on this one and i've got a tiny bit of green fondant that i'm just going to roll thin pieces of and we're going to stick those either side of the head where the mouth would be so it looks like she's eating some grass like that so you can see she's a little bit different to sean she doesn't have the hair on the top of her head and then we're going to make feet in exactly the same way but we're going to keep them much shorter and fatter this time and when i stick them on i'll try and stick them slightly further apart than i did on sean's there you go so at the moment they're still all on the little foam balls until they dry properly so you can make these in advance of your cupcakes as well so our next one can you see we've repeated exactly the same with the face the difference this time is with the mouth i've just rolled a small ball and I've poked my paintbrush handle into the middle and then we're pushing that in place where the mouth would go. Again, eye sockets in exactly the same way and we'll just dint a little bit underneath them. Push that in place on the body, the white eyeballs in. Again, just poke in your black bits with a cocktail stick and ears in exactly the same way that we did for Sean. And then again, don't forget to add the legs. So this one, we're making a slightly longer shaped head for. This one's gonna be Timmy's mum. And I'm going to put the head slightly higher up on a body than I did for the others. And I'm going to make a mouth in exactly the same way that we did for Sean, with a little sausage shape that's folded in half. Poke in the nostrils again. And again, the same for the eyes. Teardrop shapes for the ears again, sticking them to the body. And we're going to give her some rollers, some little hair rollers. So just try and roll some little cylinders in your white and just use a small ball in tool to push into the end, like that. So we'll do the eyes in exactly the same way that we did before. And I've just got a little bit of food colouring. I've got a Cornish cream one here, but you can use any kind of yellow. And I'm just dabbing a tiny bit in the centre of each of those hair rollers. And you'll see I've put her legs on as well, just in the same way. So I've also done Timmy. I haven't filmed the whole of Timmy because you're going to do him in exactly the same way we did with the others. He's just got a slightly smaller, more rounded face. And then the additional thing we're going to give to Timmy is his little dummy. So I've got a piece of yellow, and I've made it sort of the shape of a, a bean. So a little bit like a love heart without the point at the bottom. And I've just got a small ball of white in the middle. And then again, using some more white, we're going to roll a thin piece, thin little snake shape. It's going to go from either side of that round bit. And then I'm just going to paint on a tiny, tiny picture. You don't have to put this bit on if you prefer not to. You can't really see it very well. So this time we're going to have a go at nuts. Nuts has got a slightly longer face with a little bit more shape in it. I'm just pushing in a little bit at either side using the modelling tool to create some marks. And then we're going to put in his eyes. One of them is slightly larger than the other and the further apart than they were on the other sheep that we've done. And this time the nostrils are a little bit smaller so I've just used a cocktail stick for them. Push in the white balls of fondant for the eyes. And again, same with the black, keeping one really tiny in the small eye. We'll add the ears in exactly the same way as we did before. So the legs start in a similar way as before, but I've added a little thumb just extra on the side and I'm gonna bend the arms around a little bit rather than keeping them straight like I did on the other ones. Okay. And you can make as many of these as you want. And I would advise leaving them at least a couple of hours to firm up a little bit. If you can leave them overnight, even better. And then once they're dried, you can take them off the foam and just using a little bit of buttercream, we can stick them to the top of a cupcake. So here are all the cupcakes. These are some of my favourite characters. And I'm also going to be making another video, so keep your eye out for my video of Timmy the Cake. And happy 40th anniversary to Ardman Animations. Thank you for watching.